Hey everybody, what's up? It is Dom here, back once again, I should say. Uh, as we're getting into this video, I'm recording this. It's probably the most inconvenient time when uh, everyone is mowing outside for some reason. I've waited about 45 minutes to uh, jump into this, but I'm going to try my best to ignore it. And uh, hopefully you guys will be able to also, and maybe it'll calm down if I'm lucky. Uh, but with that being said, I went on to uh, the good old Steam Stamp today, and I saw there's new Arma 3 Creator DLC, SOG. Prairie Fire, SOG, uh, is, I thought it was like Special Operations Group, but it's not. It's actually uh, Studies and Op Observations Group. That's what it is. Um, so what is this DLC? Well, if you guys recall earlier, we have stuff for creative DLC where the mod makers are able to get money for making their mods, uh, essentially paid mods for Arma 3. Not necessarily a bad thing uh, in the course of Bohemian Interactive gets money, Steam gets a bit of the cut, of course, and ultimately the mod maker does for putting out, you know, all the stress of making some pretty dope mods. And uh, let's talk about this one in particular with uh, Prairie Fire coming out soon. It is going to be $22.99, about the same price as Gold Mobilization there. Uh, there was another DLC really, or, um, announced back, like CSLA Iron Curtain, like Czechoslovakia stuff. It's kind of like, I would say it's an expansion on top of the Gold Mobilization, not made by the same dude, the same group, but... Um, that one haven't really heard much about it honestly uh, and what's to come from that it looks like this one's actually going to be releasing sooner uh within the second quarter of course and hey we're in the second corner so and i think within like the next two weeks there's going to be like a private test for everything checking out there so i'm curious how that's going to all go uh but let's read some stuff here about it like i said 22.99 um price range is i've always thought yeah little up there but i guess if you, everyone's got to get you know a bit of the pie and you still want them to get a nice bit um i can't say too much because i got gold mobilization when it was on sale for like 10 bucks and i thought that was a steal uh, but i know some people were kind of mad given the playability of it because arm is very much a game where you want to have either a really fleshed out experience in single player which is hard to do or have all your buddies playing it and the fact with these dlcs is they're not really marketed like apex and um the contact and stuff like that like if i have the dlc but my buddy doesn't we can still play together we can't use the maps these ones you have to download a compatibility patch and some people might not even know this even exists um as far as i know i don't remember them really ever promoting it when you boot up the vanilla game being like global mobilization right there in your face where contact and apex has always been like that um I feel like they kind of should do that way. As many gigabytes as Arma is, who cares? Just make people download the other assets and we can play with it in our life servers or whatever else. I think that'd be kind of cool, but that's besides the point. Like I said, it's a Vietnam DLC here talking about uh, Laos, Cambodia. Um, stuff there is we're going to be working with the Military Assistance Command in Vietnam, uh, United States Special Forces. So it'd be pretty cool there. Check out some images here to get us excited. Uh, if you guys ever played Unsung, it's kind of reminiscent to that. I would say, um, of course, it's going to be higher quality when it comes to the models. Uh, you can you can bet, unlike Unsung, though, there probably won't be any uh, nude, <laughs> like Playboy-esque pictures, I guess to say. <laughs> so, but I like it, though. Can we ride that bike? Hey, I don't know. I want to. I think there was a bike in global mobilization. So we have the Kim uh, Lao Nam terrain, 300 kilometers, uh, the Ho Chi Minh Trail, uh, running from North Vietnam through Laos and Cambodia to South Vietnam, looking like it's going to be a pretty big map, pretty interesting, pretty lively. I think the key one here is uh, four factions. You got the uh, United States Army, the Army of the Republic of Vietnam, uh, the People's Army of Vietnam, and of course the good old Viet Cong. 50 plus weapons, going to be a little bit of everything. I look. We got like that really ridiculous looking pistol potato cannon. I really hope they at least embrace the spirit and continue on and we get something ridiculous. I don't know what it's going to be. Maybe like the little straw hats make one like uh, you guys ever know Kung Lao from Mortal Kombat. Just make it where it's a throwing weapon. I think that'd be adding on to the meme factor there. Keep it alive. 
50 plus vehicles and static weapons, stuff to be excited for. Um, the boats, I think that if you, if you need to have some hella good boats, honestly. And bicycles, right there, two bicycles. Hey, we get a jet there. Multiplayer co-op campaign, this is absolutely, they're doing it right. They're doing it right. Multiplayer co-op campaign, this is what we need. Um, fully voice active campaign, which is nice. Uh, six highly replayable co-op missions. Uh, and 14 players, up to 14 players, that'd be cool. Uh, nine multiplayer scenarios, so that'd be cool there. Uh, Endgame, Warlord, Zeus, and Escape. Been a while since I played Escape. Five single player scenarios. Uh, sound effects, music, additional content. New modules there. Uh, it says we got stuff for battlefield logistics, artillery, support, melee combat. It makes you wonder if we're going to get like Web Knights melee stuff there. Uh, and more, as well as 100 food, drink, and medicine items, over 150 building structures and fortifications that can be used in uh, community-made content and game modes with Zeus and all that, of course. So that's pretty cool there. Um, and it talks a bit about what Creator DLC is, um, the closed beta test within two weeks. Here's some more pictures for us to really enjoy. I think there's our, there's our beautiful jet there, our outfit there for all of our pilots. So, I, for one, am pretty excited for this. Um, of course, it says, hey, you know, there will be a compatibility pack, so you can test it out with your buddies who own the full thing. You'll have, like, the little splash pop-up, uh, but you won't be able to play the uh, Cam Lao Nam terrain. So, there's that. I'm very curious to how, like, in conjunction this will work with Unsung. I wonder, I wonder how the two you know, we'll work together. And I know the elephant in the room is probably how will this fare to unsung, uh, which I'm kind of curious too, ultimately, uh, when one's free and one's going to cost some money. But I think it's more in the aspect of promoting the mod making group and uh, getting the modders their slice of the pie for keeping the game alive and the community alive for so long. So... I don't know what to wait and see really um, how it goes, but uh, when it comes out, definitely stay tuned for a video and I'll do one, um, you know, checking out all the content there. Hopefully I can get people together to play it. That'd be nice. So do like a little playthrough of the uh, campaign and whatnot. Other than that, everybody, tell me your thoughts on uh, the DLC. Prairie Fire, are you gonna get? Are you guys gonna pick it up? Um, are you guys just gonna ignore it? Will you guys build a, a whole unit and community around it? I'm very curious. But that one being said, everybody, uh, stay safe as always, and we'll see y'all next time. Peace out.